All right. Hello. Here we are again. We're doing the episode six. Continuing on with more pain and suffering. Doesn't mean I'm actually going to quit. Just means I'm just going to keep on doing. You got to persevere. You got to push forward. Union workers. And things are a bit slow. Just a bit. All right. I've heard a little bleep on the side, but I'll take care of that soon. Actually, since it's kind of turn based, I'm going to just deal with that right now. Back to this. I, I'm pretty sure by now you people already know, you know, this ain't exactly, you know, console. Then again, if you've been looking at the bottom of the screen, you, that's already so obvious that me explaining would be pointless. Let's just say I've been holding on to a certain type of fur. Yes. Now, if people are going to try to bring up legal issues, I'm just going to simply say, I'm doing this for myself and entertainment's sake. This is not for profit. Not yet. Money does sound nice, but I'm just doing this for myself first. this correctly I guess this is good enough worked out relatively nicely I'm actually going the right way. Yes, okay. We're going back to that forest. We're going to talk to him, you know, get past these union worker goblins and find upper management goblins. And if I have to fight the upper management goblins, so be it. I'm just hoping to find more spirits and stuff. Oh boy. Uh, 
Here comes the lag train. Choo choo. Go. Actually, let me check my. Uh... Still able to move, this is good. Uh. We go back, we go forward, large cutter. enough clutching well not a complete clutch huh? speaking of clutch Should I say cluck? Yeah, I know, it was a pun. Alright. Don't want to lose my place again. We're going this way now. Closer to the forest. enough. Alright, at least I was able to do that. Whack. We're gonna goose the stick.
now these enemies are being a little bit more easier to do handle. Which is good, you know? Let's struggle. But now let's see what happens when we get into the forest. Into this particular forest. Come on. Oh, I don't think we've seen these before. Mummies and other undead is uh, pretty much the one reason why, you know, monsters don't get a retirement plan. <laughs> Maybe somehow I accidentally walked into their retirement home and they're having PTSD war for her, like war flashback. I don't know. Sometimes we gotta think about the anatomy of some undead. Like, do they have enough of a brain or consciousness to actually remember or know that, you know, where they're standing at this moment in time? Am I beating up the mentally challenged and handicapped? Heroes are dicks. Every time you just, you know, see an undead, freak out because it's undead and not natural and all that. Heroes are complete dicks. Oh, there's a spirit right there. I need to fight, I need to win this, for the <laughs> sake of getting that spirit. Let's get some of that heal. Alright, let's heal this up before we do any moving. glad we got that spirit, right? Because that has happened.
management. Elements are a little bit off balance, but you know what? This is fine. I'm gonna look at the bright side, that being the extra point of healing. <laughs> So yes, acquire spirits, let's get out, continue back onto whatever the game wanted us to actually go to. Come on. You know this is some game design right there. A tree, let's see, can we, no. This, the tree is apparently solid. It has collision. So a tree that has collision right next to another... Oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't want to be in that. <laughs> So yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, tree with a log slope. The tree has collision. It's supposed to use that slope for ascending and descending, but it's hard to ascend up the log slope when there's a tree right in the way. Like, I I'm not mad about it, really, it's just a little nitpick, so to say. Apparently here yeah, I'm <laughs> one of them is very dodgy. And as soon as I say that the other one starts to get dodgy. Alright, gotta turn right around. Going to not hit you with the stick too far. Slightly too far. Alright, now we stick. Alright. 
right? We continuing? Don't matter. Well, it slightly matters, but not. It doesn't matter horribly. Continuing back down the cell. This is fine. I'm just. The encounter rate. Time to just use the stick. Oh, goody. Always need more bread. Because I know I got a healing spell, but... Well, it would be nicer to have something with bigger heal. I think I remember from the other day when I was recording, we haven't gone down this little thing here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Top off that heel. Now, I'm pretty sure this, you know, episode hasn't really been the most exciting. But it's not like, you know, 
I'm actually the funniest person on this world. Somebody might like what I say. But don't worry, I'm not really going to get depressed about it. I'm just having a lack of uh, topics right there, uh, like right here, right at this moment. I'm a little bit sorry for all these uh, goblins, you know, having to actually run up and down a few times, massacring them. They should really, really, you know, get better wages <laughs> if, you know, random, like, I don't know, magic casters, heroes, whatnot, just people trying to go down the street for their next objective for their quests. I don't know. I, I would probably give these goblins a little pay raise. Like, let's kind of say this is basically field number three for, you know, third tier of enemies. Tier one being outside the monastery in the first town, and outside of Dor uh, Doran as well. If I were to translate, you know, tiers into D&D &D money kind of sense for hourly pay, I would say for the beginning, um, five copper per, <laughs> per hour for area one. Area two, it's a nice little spike of difficulty being the first forest with the bandit. I would probably up their hourly fee up to, I would say, 30 copper? Yeah, 30 copper per hour. And that's, you know, paying the monsters to actually do their jobs. And then we got section 3 here. I would probably say 60. 60 copper hourly. I think it's safe. Let me just double check before ending this recording because it's about that time. Yep, looks good. Alright, ladies, gentlemen, and whatever you are, meat bags alike. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourselves a nice day.